hello everyone today we will be learning about the concept of time value of money okay so at the, as the name itself suggests time value of money means money worth of money at a particular time okay worth of money at a particular time okay now this particular time is a precise time that is at a particular date okay so now this time value of money is very important concept in financial management okay so what does financial management mainly consist of it consists of procurement of fund and then application of those funds or utilization of this fund okay now this procurement of funds is also known as financing then this application or utilization of the funds is known as investments okay so as a financial manager a financial manager has to take various decisions regarding financing options investments options and so on so in that case while evaluating all this financial proposals he has to consider what is the time value of money uh, i'll give you an example say suppose a finance there is an financial decision which needs to be made okay so there is some investment which needs to be done in the fixed asset okay some machinery okay and say the machinery cost is rupees 20 lakhs okay and if you purchase this additional machinery your efficiency in production will increase and your sales for next 5 years will increase by say 25 lakhs in first year then 15 lakhs in second year then 20 lakhs in third year then 14 lakhs in fourth year then 10 lakhs in fifth year respectively okay so this are the tentative estimate so remember one thing the fixed asset investments need to be done today or present at present but this cash inflows or increase in sale that will be received will be after one year two year three year four year or five year so for comparing whether the investment in fixed asset or machinery is worth what we need to do is we need to find the value of this money received in future okay it's received in future right so value of this money today's value of this money present value of this money that is received in future and then we have to compare it with your present investment and then only we can say whether the investment decision whether the investment whether the company should invest in the fixed asset or not okay so this can be made comparable by introducing a interest factor okay so by introducing an interest factor you are calculating a time value of money okay so in the theory of finance the interest factor is one of the crucial and exclusive concept okay now this concept is known as time value of money now let us understand what is a time value of money let us see one example of time value of money and reason of time preference of money okay first we will understand meaning of time value of money okay meaning of time value of money means the worth of 
money or worth of a rupee received today is different from the worth of the rupee that will be received in future okay so if you receive 1 rupee today the worth of that 1 rupee will be different from rupee 1 received say after 1 year okay and in the inflating economy what happens is usually the worth of money goes on decreasing for example you must have seen your grandparents or parents saying during our old days we used to get many things for rupees hundred okay or rupees hundred we used to have a very enjoyable life and we used to have a luxurious life okay that was say somewhere around uh, 50 to 60 years back okay now if you compare this with today rupees 100 what you can hardly get anything at rupees 100 if you go to the market once your rupees 100 will be spent right so what has happened is the worth of rupees 100 that was there 50 or 60 years back has reduced as compared to 100 rupees which was which is the worth of money as of today okay so the value of money goes on decreasing okay so this decrease in the value of the money is known as a time value of the money okay now this time value of the money is very important while understanding the financial concepts okay now let's understand what are the reasons for time preference of the money okay so what is the time preference of the money say suppose if somebody is saying I'll give you rupees thousand today or I'll give you rupees thousand after one year okay what will you choose you will obviously choose thousand rupees today okay so what is the reason for that one is risk okay risk there is a risk of uncertainty okay that if whether you will receive money after one year or not whether that person will be available or he will be in the condition to pay rupees thousand after one year so it's better to take rupees thousand two dates okay then there is always some preference for present consumption okay so you'll think that rupees thousand if i get it today i can consume it or use it today who knows after one year if i will get the thousand rupees then what it will be used for so it's better that i need rupees thousand today and i'll take it today itself then there might be some investment opportunities also you'll say that what i'll do is i'll keep this thousand rupees in a bank and then I'll earn some interest. So after one year, I may get some good amount. That is say 1,100 if I'm getting a bank interest. So instead of taking 1,000 rupees after one year, I'll take it today and I'll invest it in the bank. Okay. So there is always a time preference of money. So rupees 1,000 received today, the value of worth of rupees 1,000 received today will always be more than worth of rupees 1,000 received after one year okay now uh, i'll give you an example wherein this concept will be more clear okay now let's see this example so mr a has 2000 rupees as of today okay he is saving money for bicycle and planning to buy a bicycle after one year the cost of bicycle after one year is 2100 okay so in this case he has two options one is he'll keep the money with him and after one year he'll buy a bicycle the second option is keep the money in the bank for the one year and receive rupees 2150 from bank after one year 
okay now see this example he has 2000 rupees today right now he needs to buy a bicycle now cost of bicycle is 2100 so after one year he needs 2100 to buy a bicycle now let's evaluate the two options now option one is to keep the money with him okay so what will happen if he keeps the money with himself this 2000 after one year will be 2000 right there won't be any increase in the money since he has kept it with himself okay so what he has to do if he goes with the option one he has to arrange for additional rupees hundred okay to buy a bicycle after one year but if you see this 2000 since it is with him there is no risk okay so that amount will be there with him for one year there is no risk okay now there is one more option option two okay is to keep the money with the bank so this 2000 he will keep it with the bank and he will receive 2150 now what is the benefit of this is he is receiving 2150 so what will he do he has a sufficient money to buy a bicycle which will cost around 2100 and then he has some extra 50 rupees also left okay so we need not arrange for any additional funds of rupees 100 okay in the option 2 but at the same time when he is keeping the money with the bank there is a risk which he is taking right there is a risk the money is not with him what if tomorrow there is some problem with the bank there is some financial problem with the bank okay then his money he may not receive that money okay so there is a risk okay so for that risk the bank is rewarding 150 rupees extra to him after one year correct now this rewarding of risk is known as interest interest rate okay so now he has to decide whether he should take the risk and keep the money with the bank and receive 2150 and have the additional funds or he'll keep the money with himself and arrange for rupees 100 after one year okay that is a decision which mr a needs to take okay if he's ready to take the risk of keeping the money with the bank then it's fine then he'll receive 2150 he'll pay 2100 and he'll have some extra 50 rupees also okay now this risk which he has taken for that he is rewarded with additional 150 rupees this is known as interest okay so in next session we will be learning about what is interest and what are the different types of interest thank you